Hi Problem Solvers! It's time to take our designs to the next level. Today, we're going to learn how to evaluate different design solutions using a systematic process. So, what does it mean to evaluate a design? It's all about figuring out which design works best by comparing them against our criteria and constraints. When we talk about evaluating design solutions, we use something called an evaluation matrix. It's like a scorecard where we rate each design on how well it meets our criteria, considering all the constraints. Engineers use evaluation matrices every day to make sure they choose the best possible designs for their projects. Let's check out some examples. First up, let's say you're choosing between two types of paper for your bridge. You might score each type on criteria like strength and flexibility, keeping in mind your constraint, only using one sheet per bridge. Now, Imagine you're deciding between two playground designs. One is super fun but expensive, and the other is budget-friendly but less exciting. Your evaluation matrix helps you balance fun and cost to pick the best option. Finally, let's go big. Suppose engineers are evaluating different designs for a city's new water filtration system. They need to consider criteria like effectiveness and environmental impact while working within the constraints of cost and available technology. The matrix helps them find the best solution. So, that's how it's done. Evaluating design solutions with a systematic process ensures we make the best choices. Today, you've learned how to use an evaluation matrix to compare designs. Keep this in mind as you work on your own projects. It's the secret sauce to engineering success. Now, get ready to apply what you've learned and make those designs shine.